Hello everyone, welcome back to Shanti Fine Arts. Today I am demonstrating with oil paintings this angel painting. This is a very easy beginner's oil painting and I am going to show you in a much slower video step by step how I am creating that, this angel painting. And I'm also putting a link below in the video description box for the traceable to use to create your own angel painting. I have used very muted pastel shades here. You can change the color palette according to your choice and make your own painting accordingly. And as usual, all the materials that I have used in this painting, I have put the link in the video description below. I hope you make your own painting as well. And please do not forget to share your painting with me over social media. Thank you for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I am starting off by outlining the general shape of the head and face with a muted pink color. So it is a pink created by crimson and white but I am adding, I have added in a little bit of yellow and touch of blue to kind of mute it down and not make it too bright. Now I'm using a mauve color which is purple mixed with white with a touch of red in it to block in the area surrounding the head and the angel wings. As I move away from the head towards the outer layers I'm adding more and more blue to create a smooth gradient which starts from mauve, goes to purple and then blue and um, so you get a very slow gradual gradient. And creating these gradients is very much easy because blending is very much easier in oil paints. This is because oil paints generally is, has a much slower drying time so you get a lot of time to blend your paint on the surface it doesn't dry as fast as uh, acrylics so you get a lot of time to blend and smooth out in general in this painting you will see that I have chosen a very muted pastel shades um, for this painting however you can go ahead and choose your own range of colors you can use a very bright purple, orange, and yellow, and red kind of a palette. That would look very good too. But when I was doing this painting, I was in a mood of pastel muted shades. So that is what I have gone for. Uh, it always depends. Not always, but sometimes it depends on what mood I am. And depending on that, I choose my colors. And uh, blue being my favorite color. I am always dominated by a lot of blue. In fact, sometimes I feel that I paint with too much blue. Now, at the very edge of the painting, I am even pulling in a tiny bit of black with my blues to enhance that slow, gradual transition of one color to the other. But once again, this is not necessary. You can build a, a gradual transition from lighter shades of blue to darker shades of blue and leave it there as well. But this is what I felt like doing. So you can say that in this kind of, this particular painting, you can do a lot of things, change it a lot of, change it in a lot of different ways by adjusting colors, color palette, and, you know, make it fit or suited to your personal preference so you could just use the general layout general idea of this painting and create your very own painting which would probably differ a lot in the color palette or the transition so feel free to do that and if you do that do definitely share it with me in either the comments or any of my social media and I would love to see what you ended up with because everybody has their own uh, way of expressing the same things the same painting done by two different painters will definitely look very different 
now I'm blocking in the main body of the angel body and the wings and uh, once again I am sticking to my cooler tones of mauve blue so in the entire painting you will see that I have used only a very few colors mauves pinks blues is almost the three major colors that I have used in this painting with a touch of this and that here and there but those are the three main paintings typically I would have forwarded or uh, made this video much faster but since this is a very beginner step-by-step -step painting I decided to keep it much slower than my usual videos so that you can follow each and every step and pause it and paint along with it if you want to and uh, I would suggest to take out all the colors that you would like to paint with on your palette first and then start painting not because it will save time because with oil paint you have a lot of time to blend in it the paint is not drying as fast as it would in case of acrylics but if you have a palette already laid out you can generally map out what color you want to put where and because oil paints although it's not drying fast that the drawback is that once you have put that color unless it is dry you do not want to change that color drastically because otherwise you might end up having some muddy colors which again you do not want once I have the entire painting blocked out now I will go on and add some of the lighter highlights and once the lighter highlights are added I'll come back with some darker shadows that will create the contrast between lights and darks and define the painting further like I said since I have chosen very muted shades I am not giving it very sharp contrast or very very bold colored lines but you can definitely do that and that will definitely look equally good it is just a matter of mood and style and what I was thinking at that point of time what mood I was in that point of time and that's what prompted my choices of colors and um, darkness or contrast here just like I said I'm adding some contrasting colors some darker shadows to enhance my lighter areas if, if you have watched any of my videos you will see that no matter what medium I'm working with no matter what subject matter I'm working on whether it's figurative whether it's wildlife or anything I always always uh, stress on hyping up the contrast that is how I build the layers I hope you enjoyed painting this as much as I enjoyed showing this to you thank you for watching